Hey YouTube, so I just want to make a quick video um, doing a little work here on the uh, Jeep JK. Uh, one of the things that Jeepers like to do is that uh, we like to add lights to our Jeeps. So one of the problems with that is that if they are um, cheaper and everybody's on a budget, so uh, I got a set of these um, amber lights off of Amazon. They work really nice, but they also cause uh, radio interference, RF uh, interference. So, um, give you a quick example here. I don't own the rights to the music, but um, just uh, give you a listen. So I got them on right now, and you, all you can hear is static. Turn them off, radio comes in fine. Turn them on, static. So obviously, if you're listening to the radio, that's something you want to avoid. So um, I've got a fix I'm going to try and see if that will work in um, solving that issue. Alrighty, everybody. So I've got my dash torn apart here on my JK. Uh, really not too difficult to do. A couple screws. Um, biggest thing is taking the uh, vents out. And um, if you can look back here, I've got behind the radio. And I'm just going to slide this out here. Oops. Try to... It's a little stuck there. Um, so basically, I'm just trying to do this one-handed here. But if you can see, I've got the power wire right there. So we're going to put an RF blocker on that power wire and see if that will shield it enough from when I turn on the lights so we don't get any interference. All right, everybody. So uh, finally got the dash back together. Went pretty smooth. No real issues. Um, I did put RF blockers on the incoming power for the radio and on the antenna wire. Um, so I also installed... Um, blockers at the actual fog lights that I've got so um, I'll let you listen to kind of see the improvement it's not perfect but it's a lot better than what it was so again don't own the rights for the music and this is with the lights off and then let me turn them on and so a little bit of static just here and there but like I said way way better than what it was so um, don't want to get uh, YouTube um, to whack this video here, so um, I'll uh, go outside real quick and show you the um, the lights um, on the actual Jeep, and you can see where I installed those blockers. So, all right, everybody, I got a close up here of my uh, setup here. I've got the uh, driving lights, fog lights, and then as you can see, there is the blocker um, for the radio frequencies. All right, guys, so that's going to wrap up this install. Um, like I said, uh, these are what I use, these little RF blockers. They're pretty cheap. I got them like a pack of 40 of different sizes for about 10 bucks on Amazon. Um, seem to work okay. Um, basically, if you uh, have any of that uh, radio interference, if you're running lights like a lot of the Jeepers are, um, you definitely want to invest in a pack. Um, took me probably about an hour to just kind of mess around with it, not really working hard or fast on it. Um, so something you can easily do in an afternoon and have some fun. Um, I am happy that it did fix uh, some of the RF interference, so that definitely helps. And um, also too, I've got my uh, ham license, so um, you know, trying to get the maximum range out of that system um, can be have interference from the, um, from the cheaper LEDs. So if you guys have any questions or comments, let me know. Hope you have a great day.